kids learn it too. These are the ABCs of space for you and me. Let's learn these space objects while we sing into D. A is for astronaut. B is for Big Dipper. C is for Comet. D in D most for sure. E is for Eclipse. F is for Vanner. G is for Galaxy. H is for Hubble. I is for Io. J is for Jupiter. K starts with Kuiper Belt. L's in Little Dipper. These are the ABCs of space for you and me. Let's learn these space objects while we sing into D. M is for Mercury. N starts Neptune. O is for Orion. P for Pluto, gone too soon. Q is for Quora. R is for Rocket. S is for Saturn. T in Telescope, it's set. These are the ABCs of space for you and me. Let's learn these space objects while we sing into D. U is for UFO, V is in Venus, W's in White Dwarf Star, X in X-Rays is a plus, I is for Yellow Dwarf, Z is zero gravity. Now we're done with these things from space, that's the ABCs. These are the ABCs of space for you and me. Let's learn these space objects while we sing into D. These are the ABCs of space for you and me. Let's learn these space objects while we sing into D. We're the eight planets of the solar system, roughly in the same plane as we orbit the sun. My name is Mercury, the first planet from the sun. My shadowed craters do have eyes, and I'm the second hottest one. Venus is my name, the second planet from the sun. I don't have any moons around me, and I'm the hottest planet's fun. I'm the third planet from the sun. My name is Earth, the only known planet to support life in the universe. I'm Mars, the fourth my surface is soil, dust, and rock made from iron oxide. That's why I'm the color red around the clock. We're the eight planets of the solar system, roughly in the same plane as we orbit the sun. Jupiter's a fifth planet from the sun, so warm. I have a giant red spot, it's a raging storm. My name is Saturn, the sixth planet you now see. My surface is mainly made of helium, so you Stand on me. I'm Uranus, I'm the seventh planet from the sun, that's me. My axis almost tilts to an extreme 98 degrees. I'm the eighth planet from the sun, my name is Neptune. I orbit the sun in 165 years and I have 14 moons. We're the eight planets of the solar system, roughly in the same plane as we orbit the sun. What's the difference between meteors, asteroids, and comets? Let's take a look at how they travel and form. I am a comet, which is a body of ice, also rock and dust. To be precise, I can be several miles in diameter, mostly ranging from 10 to 100 kilometers for sure. I do orbit the sun just like planets and asteroids do. I have a very materialized 4.5 billion years ago from dust and gas now you know these icy particles join together by gravity which does force them into one as you can see when comets pass through the inner solar system it's ice warms releasing a trail of gas and dust that's how my tail forms i'm a meteoroid i am found in space i range Sides from a small asteroid to a small dust grain. Meteoroids are thought to form from the collision of asteroids in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter's void. I become a meteor when I burn up in the atmosphere. That's when you see a shooting star or a fireball near. If I survive this burning of entry through your atmosphere and hit the ground, I'm called a meteorite. I 
share. I'm an asteroid, I'm sometimes called a minor planet to some. I'm a rocky leftover from the formation of the solar system. I do orbit the sun, I do range in size from a dust particle to 600 miles wide. I probably consist of clay and silicate rocks, you know. I'm dark in appearance and ancient as far as the solar system goes. The difference between us is quite substantial. We will tell you what this is so you understand in full. A meteoroid is a space rock the size of a grain of dust or a small asteroid, but we can't talk. A comet is an object made of ice and dust. How fun! Often with a gas halo and tail that orbits the sun. An asteroid is an ancient rock from the formation of the place you live called the solar system. What's the difference between meteors, asteroids, and comets? Let's take a look at how they travel and form. Is that a shooting star? Space. 
scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. Almost five billion years ago, there was only our sun, which was a newborn star surrounded by dust was how it begun. Over time, this dust began to slam into one another due to gravity pulling it in as it smashed into each other. The planet that we live on was made by space dust and rocks that formed Earth over millions of years into an or not a box. They say four and a half billion years ago, Earth was a fireball. That's right, with surface temperatures over 2,000 degrees and Fahrenheit. At this point, there was no air, just carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water vapor making it hot and toxic when the Earth began. Our boiling ball of liquid rock was slammed by a this planet's name was Thea, it was the size of Mars as you see it. The blast wave from this collision sent trillions of tons of debris, which over time was pulled back in to circle the Earth by gravity. This giant ring around the Earth was made of red hot dust and rock, eventually formed our moon we see today, I know it's a shock. Let's speed up millions of years to see how water formed about 3.9 crystals. Each crystal held tiny droplets of water inside their shells. Over the 20 million years that these meteors fell, pools of water started to form on the cooling crust. I do tell, the water on our earth is billions of years old now you see, and may have traveled millions of miles to be consumed by you and me. Let's speed up hundreds of millions of years to find the earth covered in water with tiny islands peaking out while the remain much hotter. This hot core pushes molten rock up and out the Earth's new crust. When the lava cools, it forms the land we know as it builds and thrusts. Over time, these land masses start to collide and eventually form our continents we know today do still transform. Here's a theory of how the Earth was formed, so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. How did Earth get its atmosphere we have today? There are three basic atmospheric hypotheses still used to this day. The first atmosphere was made up of hydrogen and helium gas. These molecules move so fast they escape Earth's gravity into space at last. The second was made of lots of volcanoes releasing water as steam and carbon dioxide, hydrogen, sulfate, ammonia, and methane science agreed. The third and current atmosphere is made up of this you will see take in carbon dioxide and give up oxygen to you and me. All animals take in oxygen and give up CO2. Also volcanoes and burning stuff produces this like fossil fuels. We burn too many fossil fuels and have too many factory farms. All this carbon dioxide we produce is doing our earth harm. It's up to us to change the way we consume and create energy. If you start to make changes now our planet will change you will see. Please do your part to save the earth to improve your future now. We're capable of change, go make us all proud. Here's a theory of how the earth was formed so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. You're so smart and important so believe in what you can do. Make a change and set the stage in earth's future for you. Wait, 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 wait. You guys had your chance in the spotlight. It's time to talk about the dwarf planets in our solar system. Hit it, guys. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system, and we revolve around the sun. Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt As far as planets, we're the smallest ones My name is Ceres And I am a dwarf planet I'm the closest dwarf to the sun There's mysterious white spots on my rocky surface And I am the smallest one My name is Pluto 
I'm a dwarf planet and was the ninth planet from the sun. I am one third water in the form of ice and have five moons that are lots of fun. My name's Hamea. I am oval in shape due to the fast rotations that I make. I take 285 years to orbit the sun because I am so far away. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system And we revolve around the sun Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt As far as planets were the smallest ones I'm Maki Maki I have no atmosphere I was discovered in 2005 I am one of the reasons Pluto lost his status So naturally we do not jive My name is Aries I'm more massive than Pluto I am big but I'm lots of fun 557 is the amount of years It takes me to revolve around the sun there are five dwarf planets in our solar system And we revolve around the sun Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt As far as planets were the smallest ones Thanks for watching KLT Please subscribe to this channel Like our videos and check out the KLT Merch Store